A man who police say forced a frontier flight to make an emergency landing in RDU appeared in court today. He's accused of threatening the flight crew and the passenger. CBS 17's Judith Ratana is digging deeper into the court documents into this case. What did we know? How did, how did this escalate so far? So this all started last week when a direct frontier flight from New York headed to Orlando diverted at RDU. I have the flight path here. You can see that it turned around just before it got to South Carolina. Court documents say Michael Ganter became unruly, threatening to hurt and even kill other passengers. One hour into what was supposed to be a quick flight, court documents we've obtained say Michael Ganter started to say he was being poked by needles. He also claimed his DNA was being collected. Other passengers claim he then became unruly. A criminal complaint says he threatened to slap people and beat them to death. It also claims he singled out a mother and child sitting behind him, saying he would kill the child and beat the child's mother in front of the child. Passengers stepped up to help flight attendants get Ganter under control. Documents say they struggled to get zip ties around his hands and saran wrap around his feet. When the plane landed, RDU officers removed him. When questioned by police, documents say Ganter told them about the pokes he felt and that after flight attendants moved some passengers, five men attacked him. Ganter allegedly admitted to officers he may have said inappropriate things. Now, interfering with the flight crew or flight attendants is punishable by a fine or up to 20 years behind bars. To read more about exactly what happened on that flight, head over to my story at CBS17.com. Judith Retana, CBS17 News. All right, Judith, thank you. Well, President Biden says the U.S. stands prepared to respond if Russia invades Ukraine.